Alright, so we're back again and uh about to open up another little panel here. It's gonna be going uh while I talk about what I'm about to talk about, be working on another new uh picture, which will be Yosemite Sam in another position. So I'll be coming back between this one and my new panel to get the colors to make sure I have all the color schemes right. Yeah. You'll see though. Anyway, um, while you're watching me do this, uh, let's talk about Space Jam 2. Well, to be fair, well, let's go, let's go over the bat, let's go over some of the nitpicky and negatives first, and then go into how this movie possibly could work, depending on what, on what all, you know, what all it does. Yeah, so... Let's get the negatives first. Cause you know how some of y'all love to hear us complain about this. Ooh, he, what is he gonna say about it now? <laughs> so, uh, well, one negative, of course, is, of course, Granny. Why in the world would they have her drinking martinis and trying to speak hip when growing up with Looney Tunes logic, Granny has never done been like you know you know all try to be like hip and stuff now of course in the looney tunes back in actions the show as uh pointed out to me by a special someone um the granny was actually a world war ii spy and that was actually that actually explained how she met tweety and sylvester which which in a way uh, if you put it as canon, oh darn! I just, oh wait, wait! You put the wrong picture up. Uh, which, if you consider that canon with well, just Looney Tunes in general, actually makes a lot of sense when you think about Sylvester and Tweety Mysteries. Yeah, yeah. If she was a spy in World War Two, yeah, of course she probably would. Um, at some point, maybe be like a detective as well. So yeah, it does kind of make sense in canon. However, though, um, the closest that they did get of Granny to that was, well, her in that Matrix scene with Speedy Gonzalez. And then she still tried to be hip uh, with the martinis. Um, players gonna hate. And also one where she tried to be hip, but also somewhat, I guess, cool at the same time with one of the uh, Monstars. Like, I'm gonna go old school on him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, now, let's think about how that could work in the context of what Granny should be like there. What Granny should have, how Granny should have been portrayed. Um, Okay, if you want to go with Granny, you know, whoop, mopping the floor with these uh, goon squads and stuff like that, that would actually be fine. But let's get some acknowledgement of the World War II spy stuff. Uh, take away the, the martini thing and also that whole thing of her saying Twitter. Um, if you want to now keeping something like that in, why not make it where <laughs> this is actually a... Uh, by the way, this is actually a picture when Yosemite Sam reacts to Harriet taking off her coat and also coming out on stage drunk. Whoa, 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 whoa! I'm trying to keep a PG in here! <laughs> and you look like a mess! <laughs> Baby, I'm not a mess. I'm a hot mess, okay? <laughs> so, uh... Referring to the martini thing, ironically, I just was talking about drunkness. Um, why not make it where someone like Lola Bunny could be, you know, drinking the martini if you want to be hip and with the times? Yeah, put, put it on someone like Lola Bunny. Uh, because in the Looney Tunes Back in Action show, her portrayal, if you went by that, would have actually matched something like that. Um, you could have had her, maybe it would have made her kind of like that wacky college student there. Yeah. And as for the, um, Twitter thing, 
yeah maybe and and the whole i'm going old school on them okay you can still keep granny mopping the floor oh and i tell you another reason why the martini thing doesn't work someone granny's age that would not martinis would not be good uh for her to be just sipping them away at her age there yeah so um yeah with the so with the butt kicking scene um you can still have her doing that but in the matrix scene let's say okay let's say if maybe as a reference to sylvester and tweety mysteries you maybe put sylvester and tweety at the computer and sylvester says um when they, when the police say freeze and sylvester would say can't the can't the pookie cat check his twitter and you could throw in a little joke or tweety would pop up saying oh i'm doing fine i was i said tweeter not tweety <laughs> oh sorry and then granny would show up don't worry i'll take care of these bozos and that's where you get her whooping butt matrix style um you could keep speedy in there if you want there um maybe maybe like a tech maybe the two of them tag team um like they did in the scene if you want to do that because uh, i'm not gonna lie speedy actually was speedy was real good with reenacting the matrix and yeah, I know I, I know I mentioned I was gonna try to do all the negatives first, then the positive, but some of these some of these are kind of mixed in. It's kinda of hard to yeah, it's kinda of hard to keep from them depending on what I'm mentioning there. So anyway, speedy, yeah, really fits well with the matrix scene there. I Dima <laughs> so yeah it definitely would work with speedy um tag team with granny <laughs> and here's a little something that can be added for either that matrix scene or even with the basketball scene which would be really which actually would be funnier in the basketball scene but you can still do it in the matrix um maybe you could do it twice um why not when uh when granny's whooping tail with these uh with the goons in both matrix and basketball maybe she take out like a golf club or something and just go postal on them and the reason lebron and bugs bust in there because they have to hold her back you could even have daffy with them and you know a funny little joke of him getting hit with the golf club <laughs> you know for a little shot at daffy <laughs> And they'd be like, whoa, whoa, Granny, Granny, Granny. <laughs> I was in the World War II. <laughs> granny, Granny, this ain't the war. We're not in the war anymore. <laughs> so Kill like Simony Sam screaming that. Whoa, 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 Granny, Granny, hold back now. This ain't the war. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> so, yeah, that could actually work um, if, if you tried it like that. Um, and it could, and like I say, it could definitely work with the basketball scene. Cause then it'd be like, Granny, we're not in World War II. This is, we're just playing basketball. <laughs> you know? So, yeah, LeBron and Bugs, we have to hold her back <laughs> once again. Yeah. So, uh, well, now I got this picture done of, El of Yosemite Sam's reaction <laughs> and his hat. And you don't see his hat in this picture because it flew off his head. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So, uh, let me save it real quick. So, anywho, uh, so with that said, yeah, um, I think that's pretty much the, I think the other negative of the movie is the virus that, um, I think both that, what's his name, Don Chico, Cheeto is supposed to be playing, a uh, guy who played War Machine and also Donald Duck in a few episodes of the new DuckTales there. And a few other a few other things, and also uh, Fresh Prince as uh, Ice Tray. So uh, anyway, with Don Chico's character playing this computer virus, 
Uh, this was also suggested to me. Um, this was also told to me um, by uh, by someone as well. Why not have done Cheeto? Uh, che I, I swear I'm mispronouncing his name. I, I know I probably am. Um, why not have him if he's this? If he's a computer virus, uh, why not he take on multiple different forms throughout this movie? Um, say, for instance, he could warp. He doesn't have to just be live action most of the time. He could be pretty much like Robin Williams. Oh, sorry. Like Robin Williams' genie, how he was doing all that shape shifting and stuff like that, or, or the mask was doing, uh, the Jim Carrey mask. So why not have him like shape shift into different forms throughout the throughout the scenes that he's in the movie? Matter of fact, you could even play with the animation style with this computer virus. He could turn to he could be animated. He could turn into a claymation, uh, some mess, um, you know, just all kinds of things. Yeah, just go crazy because <laughs> it's a computer virus. <laughs> yep. Oh, uh, you see, yelling at Harriet. Okay. All right, but yeah, just go, just go crazy. And speaking of animation, um, mixing in another positive, the animation of Space Jams Two is great. They, when they're animated, you know, especially LeBron James, like oh, I'm a cartoon. Oh, oh, I'm sure. Oh my God. Uh, was it? Um, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure to Kevin Hart. <laughs> and then did that thing where he expanded his legs and stuff. And Bugs Bunny shows up. Yeah. What's up there? Bugs, give me some love, man. Because <laughs> apparently he's a big Bugs Bunny fan. But they look great when they were animated. You know, the animated part. And then they have to turn to CGI for some reason. Okay... Don't, don't. I, the CGI is not, is actually not that bad. Wait, 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 wait. Before you boo me, <laughs> just hear me out. Nothing to bring up something else here so I can start. Uh, the CGI is actually not, is not that bad. And it's not, but the only reason that, the only re, uh, reason I nitpick on it is because I feel like let's see I'm gonna have to open up another panel for this because I feel like instead of switching to the CGI why don't they just stay animated for the whole movie the the Looney Tunes and uh, LeBron's character because that let, let's because with the first Space Jam movie you know we had Michael Jordan uh, was live action amongst um, cartoon uh, characters like Bugs Bunny and all that. So it was sort of a Roger Rabbit like effect. Here, they when LeBron James enters, he doesn't come up there live action amongst a bunch of tunes. He's animated himself, which actually I, which actually is not a bad idea. And I really would go with that if they would stay with that. Yeah, instead of switching to the CGI. Just stay with it like that. When he's with the tunes, he's animated. And, you know, you can animate other people that come into... Yeah, just have the whole thing animated. And the computer... And like I said, the computer virus could still be jumping around, switching its different, you know, animation schemes and certain... Uh, depending on what scene it's in. But, yeah, as for the tunes and all that, yeah... They def they can stay uh, animated through most of the movie. Yep. So, um, but like I say, um, and one and that le one thing I really liked in the animated part was the Batman and Robin scene. Like, <laughs> oh man, I can't I can't wait to see what I'm gonna be. I'm I, I'm gonna go to Metropolis. I can't wait to see what I'm gonna be here. Da -da 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 -da. Robin? I'm Robin? And why are we chasing a runaway train? Because, Doc, where there's 
crime, they're superheroes. Sort of kind of remind me of how Jim Carrey Mass said it, the, the superhero part. Yep, so, um, so yeah, that, yeah, if it just stayed animated. Um, a lot of people seem to have a problem with, oh, great, I gotta, gotta go and fix this here. A lot of, and by the way, this is a picture of Yosemite Sam having his hat pulled over him entirely and nothing, st and the only thing sticking out is his boots and mustache. <laughs> okay, so, um, anywho, um, one other thing, uh, apparently people have a problem with the Porky Pig rapping thing. Um, it, it's all right, you know, it's, I mean, I'm not saying it's a mass. It's completely a masterpiece. I I get what they're going with. I don't really. It doesn't really bother me having Porky Pig rap uh, like it does a lot of other people. Uh, the only thing uh, it sort of, sort of makes me think of Mushmouth in the Fat Albert movie uh, when he was doing his little thing. To the Fat Albert song, like, no, 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 don't I have a good time? Yeah, boy, baby. I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, oh, my God. Well, that little bump because maybe better be better. You know, better be better be better be better. I don't think I want a whole more thing. I'm going to go on my hand and just a shake of my thing. Oh, no, 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 um, Porky Pig, yeah, okay, Man, I, because of that, I kind of can see the appeal of why you would want him to sort of be your, 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 uh, your big main rapper, <laughs> because of the stuttering thing there, <laughs> yeah, well, that's all, folks, <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, I kind of can get that, um, a lot of people, like, again, a lot of people aren't going to be as merciful with that as I am. I mean, it's just, you know, it just doesn't bug, it doesn't really bug me there, but, yeah. Um, yeah, oh, also, so, yeah, I guess, I guess I probably, I kind of pretty much point out some positives with it, some negatives and positives, huh? Well, uh, only other thing, only other things I can, um, say at the moment, um, you know, before it comes out and everything, um, I think Zendaya's gonna do a good job as Lola Bunny, um, uh, seem like, I've heard her voice a few times in the trailer, uh, it sounds pretty good, the, um, what you, oh yes, there is the whole thing of why, uh, going around, of why the actors for the Looney Tunes were not credited. Like, um, yeah, they did they didn't put their names or anything. Yeah, and that's that's uh yeah, like really I know that yeah, animation and all, but you still gotta credit your voice actors. Come on now. So yeah, that's kind of a, a kind of a big negative there. Um yeah, the, cause the only one they gave credit to was Zendaya. Uh, for her role as Bugs Bunny, what the other people who play in the movie don't deserve their names mentioned there? Yeah. Oh boy. So, um, so yeah, kind of a good, kind of a like I say, uh, it's not not I'm not not so much you know coming down on Zendaya because I know it's not really her fault. Um, like, again, like I said, I think she'll do a pretty good job. It's, it's the people working on this movie that, you know, really should, like, why? <laughs> yep. Also, um, so, let's see, something else, um, something else about the Space Jam movie, I think, um, now, now I can't think about it. Oh, oh let me save this one. <laughs> Oh boy, now the, now my camera's staying falling asleep on me. <laughs> He'll simply say with his hat pulled down. There you go. <laughs> I think this I think this happened quite a bit 
in in cartoons involving Yosemite Sam. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Um, was something else I wanted to mention about the Space Jam movie. Uh, oh yes, about the fact that there are all these the fact of the different scenes that we've been getting. Um, like the Matrix scene. Uh, Batman and the Batman and Robin thing, uh, the rapping and all that. It's they're throwing a lot at us, uh, and then plus, you know, we're supposed to have all these different characters, uh, in the movie from Warner Brothers, uh, pretty much like real player one. Um, it feel it's not, I don't think it's a bad thing, you know, doing all this. I mean, you know, Looney Tunes are known to do. A lot of things. I mean, I mean, they're Looney Tunes. You know, it's kind of their thing to do a lot of things. Um, but the only kind of thing uh, that's kind of questionable is: is this a Space Jam movie or is this Back in Action too? Yeah, it feels more like a sequel to Back in Action or a remake of that movie, uh, more so than Space Jam in some ways. Because of the fact of they're, you know, doing all this stuff. So I like the way Looney Tunes back in action did. And and I'm not saying that that's a bad thing even for that movie. That movie is pretty good, which you'll see when you see the season one finale when it's finally done. But back in action is a, is not a bad film. It's actually pretty good. Um, and because they were doing a lot of stuff, that's one of the things that really made it interesting and really, you know really marks it as a really good Looney Tunes film. Let's see, I'm trying to think. Okay, I think I'll do Homer. Go, yeah, I'll do this Homer picture. Um, so I need to bring up the other colored picture. So, yeah, though. But yeah, it just feels like it's uh, back in action too. Chances are, I guess, when the movie actually comes out, it's, you know, when you see it fully through and hopefully two hours long, um, you actually will see um, how it's still gonna it's 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 probably still gonna be true to being Space Jam two. Um, another thing, another nitpick. It feels more like a Space Jam remake than a sequel. Sort of like the new Ghostbusters movie when they did it with um, you know a female cast and had the other previous Ghostbusters from the old movie cameo in it as different characters thus making it a whole different universe there so yeah it feels like that it's doing that because you know it's been so long since the first Space Jam movie and you don't really have any type of homage to the first but at least none that I've seen yet to the first one also the way that they that I guess the Looney Tunes are supposed to be inside of the cyberspace I guess so yeah, it seemed more like yeah, it seemed more like a remake. <clears throat> but other than that, you know, other than that, yeah, I'm still I'm still gonna go check it out. And trust me, I do recommend a lot of you guys still go check it out because yes, it's some things to nitpick, but it's it's still worth going to see, um, just for the good that that can come out of this movie there and. Yeah, the only thing I can say is even, I mean, no movie's going to be perfect, but yeah, you def we, we definitely, we got to give it a chance. You know, let's see, let's see what we got in store with Space Jam. Number two, New Legacy. Woohoo! <laughs> and I'm going to, and now I got another video I got to do, so uh got one one more to do so hang tight and you will see that video with another update